Well, the Nitro X Camp is a week-long day camp, and it's held at Central Lakes College this week in Brainerd, with the ending being a big remote-control car race. Our reporter Rachel Johnson has the story. On your marks, get set, go! 18 middle school age students gathered at the Crow Wing County Fairgrounds Friday afternoon for their much anticipated 4x4 remote control car race. Fuel them up and don't go too, too hard on the corners otherwise you're going to flip and it's going to cause you the race. <laughs> Friends and family came out to the Crow Wing County Fairgrounds to cheer the racers on. The races took place after a five day camp where students learned about electronics, engines, diagnostics, how to take apart motors, and paint the bodies of their cars. Motors and how things work, if they're in certain temperatures, or how they're supposed to sound. The students also learned about careers in the auto mechanics and heavy equipment operations fields, and about other technical opportunities available in the area. The Nitro X camp focuses on demonstrating a lot of opportunities in the transportation field for careers. So everything from trucking to mechanics to front of the house to some of the art things that you can do with decals. While race day is the highlight for many of the campers, the hope is to introduce the kids to all of the different opportunities available to them in the future. Learn about the trades, the different opportunities, uh, the skill sets involved and then they get the opportunity to work on these cars and do some painting and designing. The Nitro X Camp was sponsored by Central Lakes College and the Minnesota Transportation of Excellence and was open to students entering grades 6, 7, and 8 in the fall of 2018. Summer camps are an important part of our community to give some opportunity for youth to get together when they're on summer break, to make connections in their community, to see what careers might be available, and to have a lot of fun. Reporting from Brainerd, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. This is the third year the camp has been running for middle school age students. They hope to continue the tradition next year. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.